The next two days, we are going to look at the number seven. See, the number seven is very special in the Bible. It is the completion of all that is to come. And so the seven represents Jesus. In the book of Revelation, this is the completion of all that was written up to this time. Of the 65 books written before that, of the 26 in the New Testament, this is the finality of it. So in chapter 2 and chapter 3, I'm going to challenge you tonight to read those two chapters in a version that you can understand so that you can look at the seven churches that are in this area. The seven churches in this area at the time. And what's interesting is you'll find something a little bit different about each one of the churches. But the church that throws me off the most, the church that I want to focus upon today is that one that is lukewarm. When you read, you're going to find out which one that is. But that lukewarm church, literally Jesus talks about it and says, if something is lukewarm, we spit it out. And in our walk, many times we become lukewarm. God wants us to be on fire, on fire for him on fire to love others, on fire to make disciples in his name. In this world, well, you'd think that they want us to be ice cold, but really at the end of the day, they're okay with us being lukewarm. To be lukewarm just means we're just going along with the crowd. Being lukewarm means we're just kind of treading water. Being lukewarm means we'll hear about it a little bit, but then we'll just go back to the things that we always do. Is that how we want to live? Is that how we want to head toward eternity? I don't believe that that is the case, but that's something that's between you and God and me and God as we dive back in to the number seven tomorrow.